Welcome back to the Himalayan Art Resources video series. If you like the work we do, then please press subscribe, press like, and uh, you can always share with a friend. If you want more information, if you're interested in this subject in a, in a, in a deeper way, then you can uh, join our Haron Patreon uh, site where we have longer videos, we have unique videos, and we also have uh, essays and images that are currently not up on the HAR website. Now the topic here is a little bit unusual and it's not meant in any way to be offensive, but the title of the topic is Ladies with Beards. Now I know that sounds very strange uh, because we don't usually we don't usually deal with uh, circus, uh, circuses of any type. What we're really talking about is we're talking about uh, female deities that appear to have some kind of facial hair uh, or mustache or goatee, uh, and in some rare occasions they have full beards. So, what we're really talking about is semi-peaceful and semi-wrathful deities within the iconography of Buddhism and Bun, Bun religion. Now, within the definition of uh, wrathful deities, and especially male wrathful deities, then this idea of upward flowing, bristling uh, hair as, as if there's an electric current going through it, or as if it's mimicking flames or fire, this, this is part of the description of wrathful deities. The color of the hair is usually yellow or, or uh, red, brownish ochre color. And the eyebrows are also bristling. So the hair of the face, not the head now, but the face, there's really four parts to it. There's the eyebrows, which are also bristling upwards. There's the sides of the mouth, because it's very inconvenient to, to paint a mustache or to portray a mustache on a, on a sculpture. It's easier to portray the hair at the sides of the mouth where there is more uh, free space uh, to allow it not to uh, just be confused with other elements of the face. Then we have the goatee, a small amount of hair under the lower lip. And then we have the beard. Uh, and then the beard is found from the chin and then going up both sides of the face in a semicircle. And this is usually in, in very tight, short, curling tufts of hair. So these are the four parts of, of the face of the facial facial hair that we're talking about. So one reason it's important to actually mention this topic is because a lot of female deities, very wrathful female deities, are mistaken for male deities. So, so we need to, to look at this uh, because it causes confusion. Now, where did this come from? Well, really, we don't have it from the early period. We don't have it really prior to the 17th century. It appears to be something from late 17th century up through the present. And, and it, it does appear to be coming out of the New Menry tradition of painting. New Menry is, is uh, more um, grew up in uh, central Tibet in the mid 17th century with Choying Jatso. But it also appears to be a little bit uh, popular with Khamri paintings, so paintings of East Tibet, and it can also be found a little bit in Amdo, so it's a little bit north of, of the Kham area. Uh, we really don't find it with uh, with the Kampagar Latok style of painting. We don't find it with the early Menri or the Kenri. It really appears to be a late uh, a late period phenomena, uh, and and it is something that needs to be uh, noted. It's something that needs to be watched for, so that there isn't a confusion between peaceful uh, between wrathful female and wrathful uh, male deities. So, this is just a little bit of an introduction to this topic. 